ว้าวว้าวอัน six emeralds no thank you Hey there, people. This is Kun Harrison, Kun Harrison Channel, and uh, I'm gonna go. To, I'm going to the Lush Cave. I'm gonna go to the Lush Cave. Maybe find myself some axolotls. Yeah, uh, I I could be right now trying to like get to the end game, going to the Nether, going to find the Nether Fortress. But I don't know. I'm taking this as slow as I can. <laughs> I'm not in a rush. Uh, well, that that definitely would you know advance the the playthrough. I'm not exactly in a rush. I'm just, I'm just taking my time. Maybe maybe uh later this episode I'll go for another. Um, I'm I'm only after here for some axolotls for now. There it is. <laughs> Wow, wow. That's a lot of zombos. That's a lot of zombos. That was a lot of zombos. That was almost scary. Where y'all came from? Probably from a. That was reinforcements, weren't they? Tropical fish. Yeah, tropical fish spawn here as well. Cheers up. A lot of that's a geode. That's a geode. Cool. It's a lot of tropical fish here too. Uh, this means it's ready to harvest. I don't know, but I have the I have a I have a, I have a thing that, you know basically tells me it's ready to harvest. You can harvest this. Nice. Whoa! So cool. Zombo. Oh, that's a skull-filled cave down there. If I ever saw one, it's a that's a nasty right over there. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not over there. That would wow. No axolotls, by far, no. It's, it's a bit disappointing. 
they been spawn around here. Uh, too many hostile mobs, possibly. I don't know. Do this all day. Shovel. I can do this all day. But uh, okay, yeah, these uh, small drip leaves. I I'm not sure if they're renewable or not. Eh. And I believe if you bone mill them, they go into they grow into big drip leaves. So like. Mm, that's also not exactly an option to like just get them, but like the, this big drift leaf, I believe we can just gather them as yeah as is. These are non-renewable, mind you. <laughs> mm. um, our best bet is just really just to wait out the night here. Relatively safe place here. One thing we could look around for is... Um, a regular diamond ore, not a deep slate diamond ore, a regular diamond ore. We are specifically Y8. We have to dig down to Y0, I, I, I believe. Unfortunately, hmm, I'm gonna need more setup for this. I gotta get back to the surface, grab some chests from the desert village. I left some chests over at a chest at a de 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 desert village. Ah, crimey. Oh. What? Which? Where? Oh, there she is. Yeah, I'm out of here. Drop the potion she was carrying. Oh, I thought I, I thought like now. Nah. Come on, please leave me alone. You didn't even drop any of your item. Right, uh, two. One. 
Maybe start mining here. Y zero. Finding a diamond or a regular diamond ore block in old generation would be way easier, but now that at least the new generation is like it's really hard to find a regular diamond ore now because most of the diamond ore will now be in deep slate form. I'm just getting a lot of materials from this. Like, this is the cool part about the uh, strip mining. We're just mining it. Oh, 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 oh! I did it. I found one of the rarer blocks. It's the deep slate coal ore. Deep slate coal ore. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of them here. Now, okay, yeah, th this is one of the rarer blocks. Found it. <laughs> because typically coal stops at Y0. And. Yeah. This is rare. Up to negative 8. I, uh, well, up. The other thing, the other rare block is a deep slate emerald ore, which stops at negative 8. That was cool. That was cool. That was so cool. Unfortunately, I'm running out of torches, and I may need to use some of, uh, I believe, the regular. Actually, these are all deep little colors. Right? We'll keep digging. Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh, oh wow! It's, okay, it, it's a it's a lot less it's a lot less um we're under lucky it's a lot it's a lot less um it's it's not a lot less um special anymore <laughs> at this point <laughs> now we just really got to look for diamond ore. Axolotl. It's an axolotl. The first one, it's uh, the white one. Yes! Ugh. I got one. I just need another one.
Geod. Hi, Geod. Bone meal. 
Excellent. Another feature, aka um, getting a lot of coral fans. Getting a lot of coral fans this way. Me. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Uh, everything's fine. I didn't have armor to begin with. Well, um, chest plate anyway. Uh, had to kill one of the zombies that got one of my swords. Uh, my axe still here. Good. On the stone. The there red. Fire. Set touch. My sticks. Bow still here. Fishing rod, yeah, fishing rod there. Yeah, okay. That was harrowing. Geode. Geode. The geodes are becoming less and less special now. But whatever, that's a geode, I guess. Oh, criminy. Where's the... The worst? Please. Get back up there, I guess. We gathered everything of value, or at least like of. We need. We just need to find a second axolotl. Uh, put them in somewhere secure. But yeah, like um. We got what we want, I guess. Redstone, regular redstone ore. Uh, deep slate, coal ore. Yeah, pretty much. Regular lapis, la regular lapis lazuli. Yep. Right. I I just need to find this to complete the set. Well, there's still also the nether gold door. Mm. Complete all of the ores. Yeah, very much. Anyway, as promised in the earlier business episode, let's explore the nether. Oh! Yeah, yeah, this... Accessing the iron form is much easier now. It's like, I'm thankful that it's producing a lot of iron. <laughs> really cool. But yeah, let's actually explore the nether now, I guess.
we go. Right. <laughs> To make sure I'm firm, uh, dangerous place by the by. Right. A lot of mobs spawn in here. Uh, fire aspect sword. Let's go. How big is this? <laughs> Crimson forest. Is this it? Is this is this all of the Crimson Forest? Really? Really? Shall I buy a piglin? Uh, of course. Alright, really. Three B. So stuff. My stuff. Um, I don't know how much I actually need for the farm. Actually, I only need like two. Lights. I'll do that. Like, uh, oh yeah, I have, I have a slip touch. I can, I can just pick up the nylium. Yeah. Uh. Test something out. I see. I see. That this is how we make. That, this is how we make Nalium. And I believe it has to be adjacent. Yeah, can't do it. It needs to be adjacent to another Nalium block. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, okay. Oh, the worst enemies, by the way. That's a. F that, that's another fortress. Over there. Another fortress. That's another fortress. Yeah, that that's that is that isn't too far. That isn't too far. It's literally a few steps away from wherever I'm spawning from. Uh, 
Uh, I believe we can literally dig down to get to it. Wow, I was like, I guess like, yeah, when you just enter the hitbox of the nether fortress. I don't know where exactly it is though. Off oh, brick. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Entering the fortress is a challenge on its own. Oh, wait, no, I need the blue shrooms because those are the ones that scare the, the pigs. Yeah, the, the blue ones. The warp fungi. Oh, there it is. Alright. The worst enemies, by the way. I hate these things. I hate these things. Why can't I place it here? There we go. Blazes. Ow. Uh, I'm out of here, actually. I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with that. Ah, really? Gold rod, huh? That's cool. Really? Not a single rod. Right, cool beans. Just not deciding not to drop any rods and... Uh, fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need a frick. One rod. Ah, oh, really? Really? Alright. That's just gonna happen. It's just gonna possibly happen. Yeah, okay. I just wanna get out of here now. I'll come back here with fire assist. Ow. 
I come back here with fire protection gear. Oh, cr really? Just leave me alone. Their, their disengage range is just non-existent. They, they don't disengage at all. Holy fuck. One rod from that, from all of that exchange. That's beautiful. I didn't need the roots. The roots go there. Gold and right. flint and steel, sure. A saddle. These halls typically did more. So I may just be getting lucky with the fact that I believe the mob cap has been hit. I'm not sure. Oh, I said too. I said it too soon. Return to sender, freak. That was a thing. No tear. No tear. That's a base of Lota. And right beside that, that, that's a nether fortress. So, two nether fortresses near spawn, I guess, yeah? But it's just it's the worst bio, based on Delta. Ugh.
Not even a trident for my troubles, eh? Not even a trident for my troubles. Right, okay. I'm gonna have to get used to that. That bit of disappointment. Every freaking time. Screenshots 30, 33, 34 is our leeway. 25. Ow, ow. That was all of our ender pearls, by the way. So, It. Yes, but it's the wrong piece of bedrock. Oh, I have to move one block over. Right out, TNT. Oh, also, I did not die. Okay, I did. I did die doing this, but hey, um. Right. Just have to do it here. We have plenty of TNT, right? Should be correct. Hey, Pigman. Pig. Hi. All right, go. Right. We did it. We did it. Uh, hello. What? It's a crafting table. I believe this is a rendering error. This doesn't look fair. Ah, that's a weird. It's a weird. Ah, oh, oh. It's a weird rendering. Ah, oh, it's weird. I don't. I don't want to pay heed to it. Like. Oh no. Oh no. Actually, did not bring 
any of my building material. Una momento. I mean, it looks like it works. I have to spawn proof it better. Yeah, because regular pigment are spawning. Spawn proof it better. Okay. Cool. Where do you have 45 pork chop in this? Okay. Whoa. Yeah, this is effective. Uh. Why is this? Why are there still piglins spawning? Well, uh, I think they're spawning below, so eh, doesn't matter. Ah, crap. So I'm gonna AFK here for an hour. See how much pork chop we get and some leather. Because this is gonna be our primary food source from here on. Pretty much, really. I'd go up higher for the AFK platform, but uh, I'm afraid if I go up too high, um, well, um, the 
the piglins, uh, the, the, the hoglins would just um, despawn as they fall into the pit. But yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna, gonna wait for an hour. It's been an hour. I'm still running. Uh, I did notice that sometimes this they just don't go into the hole sometimes because they're too big. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how much uh, leather and how much pork chop we get from this, because uh, this will be our primary food source from here on. Ah, oh, yeah, babies will be stuck in here. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa! So, how many stacks is that? More efficient than I thought it was. Super efficient. Ten, eleven, eleven, nineteen, twenty one. Twenty three stacks. That's this is strong. This is this is a very strong farm. <laughs> well, uh, I know what my food source is now. That's uh, great, cool. <laughs> this is this is this is an ama amazing food source. Very much. That's. Uh, I'm proud of this. It's a uh, comparison. I, I made a cool farm 